Welcome to this tutorial where you'll learn to enter and exit vehicles as characters like in vehicular shooter games like Battlefield. Now this tutorial is a small part of an existing course in Udemy called Implement Jets and Choppers in Unreal Engine 4 Blueprints. The link to the course is provided in the description below with a massive course discount coupon applied to it. The models and the textures in this tutorial come bundled with the course as resources. Let me now show you what exactly we'll learn at the end of this tutorial. This is a well-known mannequin character from the third person template and we are standing on an iconic decommissioned aircraft carrier of the Indian Navy called INS Vikrant and parked in front of us is the iconic INAS Seahawk also belonging to the air squadron of the Indian Navy and the ocean you see around us is from the freely available ocean community project. Let's run towards that beautiful jet. And as we get close enough, this notification comes up. It says, press E to enter the INA Seahawk. So let's press E and keep it pressed for a few seconds to enter the vehicle. Great. We are now in possession of the jet pawn. Now let's press E again and keep it pressed for a few seconds to exit the jet. There you go. So in this tutorial, you'll learn to set up the screen notification. As soon as I get here, you'll learn to set up the screen notification and the progress bar in UMG and also the entering and exiting feature. Just like that. I'll try again. Now since this tutorial does not come with the assets, you'll have to do the following to catch up with me. First, we have to make a Blueprints third person template. No starter content required. Desktop console and maximum quality and save it anywhere you like with a name of your choice. Next, create a Blueprint class derived of the pawn class and once you have that blueprint open that blueprint and inside the blueprint the first component has to be a static mesh so add a static mesh component first and then select the mesh as uh, maybe possibly the vehicle body of your choice it could even be something as simple as a cube after that you create a spring arm and give it a target arm length of your choice out here it's 1200 and also it has a rotation of minus 15 along the y-axis and then create a camera component and make it a child of the spring arm. So when you make the camera the child of spring arm of some target arm length, you're going to find that the camera attaches itself to the end of the spring arm like this. So you just need this simple setup. You don't need anything else at all. So I repeat, just create a blueprint class which is derived of the pawn class out here it's a jet, jet parent underscore BP but that itself if you look at jet parent underscore BP that's derived of the vehicle parent BP and vehicle parent BP is derived of the pawn class. Uh, this is something that's taught in the course. It is all set up in an object oriented way but for this tutorial you don't need to do that. All you need to do is create a blueprint class that is derived of the pawn class. Then create a static mesh component and select the body of the vehicle or even something as simple as a cube as the mesh for it and then create a spring arm and give it any target arm length and then create a camera component and make that the child of the spring arm. That's it. That's all you need to follow along. So let's get started with the first chapter. Thank you.